Seven verses on that one thing I only do with you. <laughs> one. He spent half an hour trying to talk me into it. And I'm pretty sure there was some other kind of drug in his marijuana. He was old enough to know how to turn a woman into a machine gun. Afterwards, I couldn't stop thinking of your pubic hair brushing against my muzzle. Two. His cock looked just like an ivory cannon. Made yours look like a flea market pistol. He was built like a brick wine cellar at the Playgirl Mansion. You had a grotto of stretch marks where I kept my private stash of moonshine. What kind of lady wants a cannon down her throat anyway? Three. You were two floors below us. He kissed me like he thought I might pop against the corners of his teeth. An hour later, you and I fucked on the hotel balcony so hard we left neon waltz across the city's fake tan. Four, my tongue fit between her labia like a trash barge into a silty river. When I told you, your eyes were working light bulbs rescued from the dumpster. Five, she begged me to go down on her. She called it just a strap-on I was born with. The euphemism did not convince me. When I told you, you asked if she was pretty and how I met her. I lied about both. Six. Stuck in the middle of nowhere at 15 below freezing, I tried to save your life. You know, the Donner Party wouldn't have been so lame if they'd just shaken off the frost and unhinged their jaws. I wasn't a Boy Scout, but I banged one, and that's about the same thing. Isn't survivalism sexually transmitted? I bet I could start a fire by striking my tongue against your penis. <laughs> the evidence did not convince you. Whoever said no man is immune to a woman who loves giving him blowjobs was a dirty fucking liar. Seven. I sucked his cock. He gave me his virginity. It was only fair. I didn't tell you. I already knew what you'd say. A girl's best friend is a jackhammer. Is someone else's hickeys glowing on her throat like the opposite of diamonds? Is the bomb shelter she digs after the last boundary falls? What? <laughs>